Hello guys, it's Mindai Crafts, and I'm uh, back here with a video. I'm going to be going over the Singer um, <clears throat> 600E. It's a brand, my, not brand new. It's from the 19, uh, 60s or 70s. Pretty sure it's from the 70s, not completely sure. But I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to use it and some, how to change the stitches, how to thread it, stuff like that. So first, while well, I'm threading it, I'm going to thread the top of the machine first because that's just essential. Okay, so you'll start out with um, going through this hoop right here. You want to, there's, you don't, there's, you have to thread it with your fingers through the eye. I don't like that very much. Sorry for it being really bouncy. Now you'll, um, take it through this little, um, metal thing right here. Um, you'll take your thread and then you'll just wedge it in there and make it go in like that. And then we're going to pull back out. Now we're going to um, go down to the tension dial. Right there. We're going to go behind the metal, this metal bar right here. Like this. And we're going to go, there's two discs in there. You're going to want to go in front of the first one. And then you're going to want to um, go back up. Hold, um, you're going to want to hold your thread. Then you're going to want to push it up. And then let it go back down. And then it catches it on that hook. Then that's how you do it. Now we're going to, um, don't thread it through that yet. Okay, then now you're going to thread it through the take-up lever. It's just right above it. You're going to, um, on the Singer 640, it's just like this machine. You can, it's a little opening, so you just have to slide it down the, um, thing, the bar. Now we're going to go to this metal, to this metal piece right here. Like this. I'm just going to wedge it in there. Then we're going to go on down, right, and through here. Then there's a little bar right here that you need to go through. Like that. Now we're going to zoom on down to the needle. Like this. <clears throat> and you're just going to thread the eye of the needle like you would on any other sewing machine. And this is my very own Singer machine. This isn't one that um, <coughs> uh, someone else owns that I'm using. I just got it today and I love it. And then I'll show you how to use the dials in just a second. Okay. Okay, so now I got the needle thread. Okay. Just gonna trim that a little bit. Like that. And now I'm going to take you on a tour down here. And here, um, just gonna take the thread all the way off this bobbin so I can show you how to wind it. Jeez, I just wasted a lot of thread. 
Okay, so now what you're going to want to do to wind this bobbin is you're going to want to lift up this lever. And there's this um, thing right here, this metal um, button. You're just going to push it down. It can get a little hard to do. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. You want to push that to make it fall again. You're going to want to put your bobbin in. It's hard sometimes. Then you're going to put that down. Now you're going to push the button. And it's called a touch and sew because all you have to do is push that button. And I'll show you what happens. So now that that is down and you push that button, all you have to do now is um, I'm going to do a, a little turn like that just to get it started. Now I'm going to just let it go by itself. Now, as you see, you don't want to go over this. Don't want to go over that last line or else the bobbin is going to be a complete mess. Okay. Now that that is like that, I'm going to, um, uh, well, no, you don't actually have to take the bobbin out. All you have to do is push that in, and it's, it's just for, this sewing machine is for when you're doing projects and you don't really want to stop. So this sewing machine would be perfect for you if that's the kind of person you are. Don't Because all you have to do is pull that thread back and then you can sew. You don't have to cut the thread or anything. Okay, now you can sew. Oh, that's so much better. This thing goes fast, too. Okay, now I did that because it might make you think, well, the back stitch is all, the, when you reverse, it's always going to be the different, um, a different size stitch than what you were trying to do. Well, no, there's a way to fix it. Because when we move over to these dials or the levers, I can teach you how to use them correctly. So, say I wanted to do a uh, number 10 stitch. 10 is over here. You just want to match up the bar with the line. So, all you're going to do is you're just going to twist it until it's a little until it's a little bit tight, and then you're going to push it up to your reverse. I didn't tighten it enough. You're going to push it up, and then that's going to be the length, the same length as your stitch down here. So I wanted a 10 stitch. Now I'm just going to push it up here, and that's going to give me a 10 uh, reverse. That goes with all of them. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to, um, how you can um, change the stitches. So... Your guide for your built-in stitches are right here. They're right in there. That. Um, let's say we want to do a zigzag. It tells you B and L. Close that. Okay, and then we're going to come over to these switches. You're going to set this lower one to B. And you're going to set this one to L. L. I do recommend oiling your sewing machine before you even try to use it. Well, I, I use your sewing machine and do a line of stitches. Then if it sounds really, really bad like this one did it. Well, it didn't sound bad. It just needed a clean. It, it was daddy long leg spider infested. So um, now you're, um, you can set the stitch width if you want to. With this, you gotta push down and turn it, move it. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, 
so the um, zigzag stitch that we just set our machine to do. I'm going to turn my stitch width into a four. Okay, so that's stitch. Okay, so here's our stitch. You can see it better like that with the light. Okay, now what you want to do is to get another stitch, we're going to do a, um, a blind hem stitches, I think it's what it's called. Um, it's th this stitch. I'm going to do this stitch. Ah! Holy crap, this lighting is crazy. Okay, we're going to do that line, that stitch that I said I'm going to do right here. Now you can see it a little better. It is B and O. So we're just going to um, uh, do that stitch real quick. So it's I'm going to set my dials to B and O. Okay, and I'm keeping my stitch length on four. So I'm gonna pull my thread to the back because you need to do that with every sewing machine, unless it's a jam proof. And it really doesn't matter what the heck you do. Why is there three threads? There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put your presser foot down. Then you're going to push the paddle. Okay. So where's the first? Where's the first? Bring it up. Okay. Here is the blind hem stitch. Where is it at? Where is it at? I can't see it myself. Okay. It's right here. My thumb is. Looks pretty cool. Um, you can do any of these built-in stitches. You just gotta set your length and stuff like that to them. And then I'm also gonna go over with you guys um, what one thing is. I gotta reset this stand. Sorry. This table is really wobbly, but it's real. I love it. It looks cool. Okay. So, right here is the um, special discs. Let me get one. Usually, with if you got a good deal and got everything with the sewing machine, you should have a box that looks like this full of discs or something like that. Um, this is just extra stitches that you can do. Let's do this stitch. You guys see that? There we go. You guys can see it. And then you're going to line this up with that black thing that's poking out in there. Where's the black? Oh, there's one in there right now. Mine is a little stubborn. Doesn't always want to come out. Dang it. Dang, I cannot get it out. Ow. So you want to be stubborn right now, don't you? While I'm doing a video. So, can't get that out. We're gonna just do the one that's in there it's a stitch I'm not gonna do the stitch um, but the one that how you get to that stitch is you move this all the way up and move this to the special 
like that. To use these dials, you have to push down. And, yeah. So thanks for watching. Here's the sewing machine. I gave you guys a good demonstration, I hope. Um, thanks for watching. See you all later.